Okay guys, today is the day that I'm taking over this insane room that's called my closet. I've been trying to avoid it. I said the minute that we went into self-isolation, I mentioned that I'm gonna attack this, but honestly, it's been a month almost. Yeah, a month. And I've just been avoiding it. Let me show you how it looks. This is what's going on here. Okay, so obviously uh, when we moved in, I was planning to build a closet right away, but we never got into it like fast enough. And then this um, self-isolation happened, so it's not happening anytime soon. So I bought these racks to put my clothes in. So here I have kind of more of the dresses. The shoes are all stacked here. Um, blazers mostly, then kind of winter coats, jeans, denim, and loungewear. This is my workout that usually go here. Then I have in the middle these racks. This is kind of t-shirts and whatever and some other stuff. This is where I usually keep uh, what I'm shooting for the closet series. This is basically just a dump area which is very sad um, and then here i started already sorting through piles what's to give or donate and what i'm keeping these are still three boxes that i didn't go through to even see what's happening so there's still a lot of work to do i don't know what all of this is i feel like a little failure to be honest with you to have the situation in my household but i'm going to take care of it um, also, it truly affects my mental health and um, I don't know what will be a better opportunity for me to do it than right now. So I'm going to attack this ASAP. The game plan is get rid of anything that I haven't worn in at least one year. The main goal, because I truly believe that you always have to have a why, my why is to be more inspired to create fashion content because it's truly what I love. And every time when I walk in here and I see this, I literally just like reverse and close the doors. Number two is I really just wanna get that clarity, that like airness, feel and see my clothes and to appreciate them and take care of them because right now I just feel like it's not happening. So these are my two main goals. First things first is I'm gonna get started going through um, the racks and just pulling things out. Yes, I'm gonna keep on, then no and a maybe. That's what I'm gonna do. Ready, set, go. You can do this, Valeria, I believe in you. This is a Gucci dress. I'm not sure why I got it. This is like a classic office wear type of thing and I'm not going to, I don't even work in like such an environment. I don't know if I should keep it for like funerals or something. I don't know. So this might be actually consigned because it is a luxury piece. I think I literally wore it one time for a photo. We took a photo with Gary when we just started. Oh, when we were engaged and we look like the Wolf of Wall Street, maybe. This is super cute, but I haven't worn it once, maybe. This was another pregnancy buy. It's actually a pretty well-known brand, so this can be a consignment because I doubt I'll ever wear this again. Actually, that's actually kind of cute. Okay, keep, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This, very, very short, very cool, very mod, but, and kind of have like a, Missoni vibe to it, but I literally worn it once. I kind of like it. It's gonna be harder than I thought. Give away, give away. I'm cleaning up my closet. I said, I'm sorry, mama. What is this? Mm -hmm. Who is this? I want to know who this is for. Like, this is the type of stuff my mom brings me. You should keep that, it's kind of cute. And that's how we get to this. <laughs> it's surprisingly pretty easy for me 
to say bye-bye to clothes i feel like i'm ready a lot of them are like from times in my life that are just like a very distant memory and i have no idea how there's it's still all around it's like amazing to me okay it's time to dive into these boxes that i haven't opened since we moved wow wow this dress a lot of places this is my edge and name dress and it was probably my only like go out dress that i could afford when i was modeling so I like used to make it into like a mini dress and then if it was like a nicer event it was like longer and then put a sweater on it and then put a jacket on it. <laughs> oh my god. It's so cute. It's so cute. cute. No, I haven't worn it in years. Okay. Oh my god, this feels amazing. And then like once these boxes are over we can move them. Over, yeah. Like, can you imagine? <laughs> this is consignment. I could do consignment for clothing that were expensive, pricey. Like, there's Gucci here. There's, like, Balenciaga leather jacket. Like, I'm sure someone will actually enjoy it. Smite blazers. Uh, but these are things that I haven't worn in years. And I always, like, keep them. But that's what happens. And that's where I go to. This is the pile of clothes for giveaways. We'll, we'll donate to a woman's shelter or whatever place we can find. Uh, probably our local community center and then I always have a pile for Nori I love when she finds things that she likes these are the things that like I went through and I'm keeping so I just really really hope that once we have all the boxes out I'm gonna see a difference because right now it doesn't seem like things are moving This is how neglected my closet is. This is the kind of hangers I have, okay? Fashion influencer over here. Okay, last box. This is, so my brother Dennis and I, we have a thing, tradition to go to a concert. So every time we go to a concert, we'll buy a t-shirt. So I have like from a bunch of different ones. So this is more of a memorabilia for me. This is the stuff that my mom brings over. And why? I have a bunch of crap in my house. <laughs> we can open a shop. <laughs> yes. And hang it. Nori's always just <laughs> looking for business <laughs> Do you want to see what my mom brought me one time? I'm gonna die. <laughs> that was her. Your joke. That was her way of. Oh <laughs> my god, are those the padded. <gasps> <laughs> Did you ever wear them? Is the better question. I never wore them because what if Gary's like, oh, and then it's like, oh. I don't want to set expectation time. This is the kind of stuff my mom brings over here like Christmas socks from Dollarama and butt pumpers like this is what i'm keeping so obviously i still have to go through stuff and be realistic so we did a first time kind of nose which yielded in this thing but we'll see <sighs> there's gonna be more nose we meet again i put this on hold for probably a week you know when you like start a mission and then you're like okay i'll do the rest tomorrow and then tomorrow never comes today's mission is to sort to these things and then move all that junk away put these against the wall so i have an open space now and then basically go again and take out things that i've kept the first round and then second round just like a more brutal screening process I'll tell you what's the biggest challenge when it comes to cleaning my closet. I have things that are I know I don't wear on a daily basis that I won't wear probably like for a long time. Exhibit A. This freaking uh, faux baby blue jacket. Like I'll never wear it. The problem is that we do have 
photo shoots. We do have like, I create like different TikToks with like, you know, characters and stuff. So these are the kind of things that sometimes I use as props and I don't know where their place is supposed to be because it's annoying that it takes space in my closet, but also if I give it away, then I have to purchase these things again for that kind of thing. So I feel like I need to have like an acting closet, <laughs> like a content creation closet. A dresser closet. Yeah. Oh, look at this dress. So this is the dress that I wore. This is H&M. That's so pretty. That's right? crazy. Wow. I added like tulle beneath to make it more fluffy, but this dress I wore to a wedding and then to my mother's wedding. And it was actually a huge thing. Like people love this dress and it's so nice. I love it too. Am I ever going to wear it again? Keep it. I feel, yeah, I feel like you, these are the kind of stuff you keep because like you won't wear for five years, but then there's an event and mm -hmm. you like pull it out and it's already. Okay, I got this from the real though. This is a self-portrait jumpsuit. In general, I'm a big fan of self-portrait. I think it's like a go-to brand for like event wear. So, it wasn't wrong. I like it. The inspector is here. Maxi, how do you think we're doing so far, Maxi? Mm-hmm, got it, okay. So now um, that I did the second round of elimination, filled out almost a, a box of more uh, giveaways, now what I wanna do is basically to arrange things uh, per category on each rack. I feel like this tra rack, if I can keep open for any of the pulling, like when I shoot, when I shoot a lookbook or when I do closet series, uh, we usually kind of put together things that I'm supposed to shoot. So I think I'm gonna keep this one open and then it will be so much easier for me. So if I'll be able to fit this into these three, which I think I can, it'll be good. This is pregnancy stuff. I'm gonna keep, keep them in storage. I don't know why, but I just, I'm gonna. Then this is nothing. These are empty boxes. Giveaway box, giveaway box, consignment. My mother's stuff that she makes me keep for her. She has to pick it up. Goes to, this is going to the studio for studio use. have cleared my closet. I cleaned it out, I organized it. It's a safe place. It has never been a safe place. We've been living here now, what, like seven, eight months? Oh my God, my heart is beating. I'm just like, I feel like I'm accepting an Oscar. And just because I feel so just emotional right now, I just want to just want to repeat a few words from the great Snoop Dogg, um, an acceptance speech. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for pushing myself. I want to thank me for not being afraid to just jump into it, closet cleaning and organizing. I want to thank me for being brutally honest with myself and giving away things that no longer serve me. This is how it looks right now. Let me explain what's happening here. Rack number one, fancy going out dresses, summer dresses, kimonos. Sets, jumpsuits, outerwear, and blazers. Coats, leather coats, bomber jackets, any type of jackets, overcoats, also winter coats, anything coats related. You do not belong here. Rack number four, 
We got the loungewear sets. We got jeans, color jeans, wide jeans, lots of wide jeans, a lot, a lot, a lot of Vada jeans, black jeans. This is chunky sweaters. This is light sweaters. This is, how do you call the hoodies and, um, you know, crew necks, sweaters, lots of sweaters. This is sweatpants. There are boots. Then I have bodysuits, t-shirts, turtlenecks, pa uh, pants, trousers, how do you call these? Yes. Hats, cowboy boots, everyone needs them. My station for steaming. Rack number six, skirts, um, blouses, button downs, boots. By the way, all my shoes are here. Just FYI, I feel like I didn't really show you. So all the heels and um, flats are there. Here are the sneakers. This is where I have my jean shorts. This is something I still have to figure out. This is my workout clothes, but I think I'm gonna buy um, from Amazon or something like a divider so I can put them in here. Bathing suits, lingerie. And then this one is an empty rack that I will be, oh, hello there, that I will be using to put any of the clothes and outfits that I put together to shoot for you guys for content. I felt like that's something I was missing quite a bit and a lot of the chaos was happening because of it. A lot of clothes on the floor. I have to say that this is not gonna be the end look for my closet. I'm still planning to uh, custom build a closet. I actually am kind of inspired uh, with this kind of open concept and have the black kind of rods happening. So I'm thinking that once we are ready, I'm gonna actually get someone to build these black rods. And then I'll also have a second level that I can use and some shelving in between. I think that's kind of my vision. Before I was thinking more of like a classic built-in, but I love this open space. I love seeing my clothes and I feel like it's just gonna be easier and more efficient for me. And then I love the fact that I have so much space here. I know that a lot of people when they're build, when they build their closets, they put like an island here and I don't wanna put anything here. I think I wanna do like a little, maybe seat, sitting area and like a cute little table and just like a plate. <laughs> wow. I can't, I, I can't explain the feeling of like cleanliness and organized and I just like see the light. Thank you so much 